Hey everyone, welcome to phoning us in-depth video review of the HTC Pure, which is available right now through AT&T. Last year, um, AT&T didn't get a variant of the original HTC Diamond smartphone, but this time around with the uh, recent l launch of the HTC Diamond 2 over in Europe, well, AT&T was fortunate enough to get a, a version of that handset. Uh, we're going to see how it stacks up to the other versions that are available right now in other carriers and whether or not it could uh, compete in the uh, smartphone lineup. Unlike the HTC Maggio on Verizon Wireless, the HTC Pure remains faithful to the original GSM's version when it comes to design and look. As you can see, it's pretty compact, not as, not as stretched out as the Maggio. Um, the, it has a 3.2 inch LCD screen which has a really good resolution. Uh, you, won't, you, won't, you won't have any problems reading text or viewing pictures. Uh, right below that you have your hardware buttons just same, just as the same layout we saw on the original version and the um, touch sensitive zoom pad. On the back though it does uh, kind of change. Gone now is the uh, single diamond facet we saw on the original one. It's now replaced with this uh, Mildalum, Milda metallic strip which bears the HTC name and also the 5 megapixel camera. The materials that they use is this black plastic which does attract a lot of fingerprints and smudges. And when you tilt it at certain angles you could see some uh, like speckles of glitter which does give it a shiny look. Overall though construction feels solid but it's just a little bit ordinary for our taste. Now just like every new Windows Mobile handset that's been released, we're treated to the latest version 6.5 on the HTC Pure. This is the same exact interface we've seen on the HTC Tilt 2 with TouchFlow 3D. It looks really nice and does a good job of visually masking the underlying Windows Mobile platform. And again when you have the start button, you have the new layout of the, uh, of the start menu here. Now when text messaging though, we did notice that with the smaller screen, it made from some cramped um, you know, confines with the on-screen QWERTY keyboard. It proved a little bit difficult just because of the limited amount of space and we did notice making plenty of mistakes when trying speed type. When you do try, you know, switch it to a landscape view and use the landscape version, it still is still adds a little bit more room but uh, speed typing is nowhere close to what you see on other touchscreen phones. Um, as far as the web browsing experience on a device, you'll get your choice of either Internet Explorer, which has some flash support, or Opera Mobile, which is of course the, the better version. It renders pages a lot faster and more suitable for the device. The HTC Pure is a decent smartphone offering on AT&T's lineup, but if you're currently an AT&T customer looking for a Windows Mobile smartphone, we'd probably recommend the HTC Tilt 2 just because of its flexibility with the uh, physical QWERTY keyboard. The cramped confines of the, uh, of the uh, on-screen QWERTY keyboards on the Pure just makes it a little bit difficult typing or sending emails. Now, if you're just generally looking for a smartphone uh, that's Windows Mobile based, we probably recommend HTC Amazio just because of its unique styling and Sense UI. Other than that, the HTC Pure is, a, is just uh, remains faithful to the original GSM's version and doesn't really stand out um, as much as the HTC Amazio. If you want to learn more about the review, you could check it out at phonearena.com.